Hi, I'm Angie and from time to time I get questions about oil-based colors and how to make them and if they work and I never really have a good answer because I've never worked with them and I've never made them on my own and today I want to change that. And in addition to that, um, one of my followers here um, on YouTube and on Instagram reached out and told me about those colors from Australia uh, called Color Mill and those are the colors I want to try out today. So thanks again for the tip. A few years ago I already made a video about um, yeah, make your own colors from scratch um, and I have the link down below. Um, but I was only using powders, so this is a liquid. So it's much much easier to incorporate, so um, that's really a big big plus um, for the color milk colors or basically um, all oil based colors. Um, but let's talk a little bit more about the costs. So here's the price for Roxy and & Rich and for Chef Rubber for those little 2 ounce bottles. When I make my own colors, the price range um, is between like about $1 to $12. So it's pretty nuts depending on the colors I want to create, uh, what kind of glitter I want to add and so on. Now let's take a look at the color mill price. Um, so let's stick to the two ounces so we can compare um, like Chef Rubber colors and my own um, colors that I make with the powders. Um, and like on average we have like about $160 for a color for two ounces. So yeah, that's actually really, really good. And in this video, I'm actually making a little bit over 100 milliliter of color. Um, so I also want to give you uh, the price for like the whole bottle that you see later in the video. And um, yeah, we're talking around 370. So yeah, it's a much cheaper option um, and I really like working with them um, because they're easy to handle, they're not as messy, messy as powders. So I'm excited to try more oil-based new colors. No, the sun is coming out. Um, but yeah, I've talked about everything um, that I wanted to talk to you up front, like the cost and um, yeah, where I got the idea. And I would say, let's do it. So here are our colors. Um, yeah, we have a coral, a kiwi, a melon, a violet, a mango, and the last one is a faxia. So um, this is the tropical mix from Color Mill in case you're interested. What I like about them is that they're super tiny. Um, I really like the bottle, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And um, with which color should we start? Let's start with the Foxia. Yeah, why not? And here we have 100 grams of cocoa butter, so I melted this in the microwave. And now we're starting with dropping in some of the Foxia. Just to let you know, I already stained my hands pretty badly when I was um, yeah, uh, getting rid of this little cap on top. Um, I'm not sure if it's getting off really easily. I've already washed my hands, but yeah, just so you know. Um, good. <laughs> good, good, good. Maybe use gloves. Okay, let's add, I have no idea. We'll just add a little bit. How about this? Let's add one gram. Yeah, I think that's way too less. I really like my colors um, to pop and to be really, really strong. Um, but obviously, um, if you like more pastel -y colors, maybe add a little bit of white. Usually, I would totally go in with my immersion blender here, but mine just died. So I'm using um, my whisk today and just see if we can still make it work. But usually I would totally use my immersion blender to mix everything through. But honestly, this is looking pretty promising. Worst case, I would just um, pulse it in my Vitamix um, to get everything homogeneous. How I like to test colors is with a white plate or white paper, or just anything white and just drop something on there just to see if the color is how I want it to be because this actually looks pretty pretty good actually and I will do nothing without sparkles so I'm adding I want to add 0 0.2 Oh, now we have 0 0.5. Okay, more sparkle, more good. And just whisk it again. Okay, I think that's it. That was actually pretty easy, pretty mess-free, I would say. 
I like to use empty um, Chef Rubber or Roxy and Rich bottles for my own colors, um, but I only have three of them today. So I will also use um, smaller mugs um, and um, yeah, we'll just uh, put it in here, add a lid on, and whenever I have um, more free bottles, I will just, yeah, refill them and um, then we should be good to go. So that just that you know, you will also see me using mugs today. I would say it worked pretty well with the whisk. Um, yeah, still I would prefer an immersion blender, but for today we're going with the whisk. Um, so there's no, not much um, um, yeah, color on the bottom, so I think we're good to go. And that's all what we're going to do. So I will do the same thing with all of those other five colors. And I will obviously let you know how much of the color um, I've been using in my cocoa butter. Okay, let's do the last one together. The last one is our mango here. And um, what I realized when I made the other colors is I don't think that you really need an immersion blender. I'm wondering if you could just, um, yeah, put the cocoa butter and the color into a ball and then shake it really, really, really well. Um, and this might be even enough um, to get a really homogene, um, yeah, color. So um, this is really, really much, much easier than um, what I'm doing right now with my with my powders, with my colored powders. Um, so that's a big plus point. But yeah, let's move forward with the last color. So I've been adding yeah between five and six grams. Um, I'm hoping this is enough. Um, let's do six here because this is a lighter color. What I like to do is um, let the colors run down and so I see how the color looks when it's like not a super thick layer. And I can see it is a little bit translucent, um, but I don't really want to add more. So just want to see how they turn out that way. And now we have to wait until all of our colors um, have about 30 degrees Celsius, then we can temper the colors and yeah, color our molds. Okay, so I have uh, prepped my mold. So I will do um, two bonbons each um, and then the remaining I will just, yeah, make a fun mix out of it. So let's start with the Foxia, which is this, those two here. And I'm covering all the other ones with a cloth. And this is how I temper my colors and actually also all of my chocolate. I have some videos down uh, in the description below how I do it in uh, like detail. But those are cocoa seeds and they will um, yeah, temper my colors. And today I'm just going to use my toothbrush because, um, yeah, not feeling anything else. Um, but I'm really going in with the color. So that's number one. Let me see what's number two. Number two is the kiwi. Now I believe we're doing violet, yep. So now we have our first three. Move forward with those. And the coral is our last one. So yeah, here we are. Um, we have our six colors and those I will just randomly go in and yeah, make something fun and co colorful. So I would say that's it for now. Um, now I will temper my chocolate and then, um, yeah, we'll see how the colors turn out. 
All right, here we go. Oh, are they all coming out? No, because they need to stay in their place. Wait. Uh oh. Okay, those two here, this one here. So this one here is the Foxia. Um, could have been a little bit lighter for my taste. Um, maybe just add a little bit less. Like, I would have liked it more if it would be like this. So I think that's just the difference between um, like the thickness of the color. So that's the Fuchsia. Now let's go over to the Kiwi, which is also quite a dark, but I think it's a pretty cool color. Then here's the violet, which I would say looks rather like a blue. It's a nice blue. Then the melon, which might be my favorite color. And like I said, I mean, you can totally adjust how much color you put into your cocoa butter. And the last one is the coral. Not bad. Really, really easy to handle. Um, yeah, here are just some random mixed ones. I think they look pretty cute. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about oil based colors, maybe now I will be able to answer them. So um, yeah, leave them down in the comments below. Send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate spiel. And um, that's all. Have a good one. Bye.